Hey, how's it going? I got some of these 10 watt LEDs. The voltage range on there is 9 to 12 volts and 1,050 milliamps. Earlier I pushed 2.5 amps through that and didn't burn it out. Got a little hot, but it didn't hurt it any. What I'm trying to do is see how they might have used carbon filament bulbs in series. I'm using the LEDs to experiment with. Right now I have an 18 volt rechargeable battery in series. The LED has a range of voltage that it, it normally runs at. Between 7 and 8.5 and volts. Anything else that you supply to it, any voltage over that, passes right through the LED and goes right to the other load in series. So the majority of the watts are being consumed in the other load. You'll notice the LED starts dimming down a little bit as the battery starts to equalize. I didn't pay much attention to that zero amp reading until I was putting this video together. We had light from the LED with volts alone and no amps. Would that be zero point energy since there was no amps? There'd be no watts. Had me wondering if maybe my meter on the amps is wrong. So I have this meter connected directly to the leads here, set for the amps. I'm going to turn the volts all the way up on the power supply. We're going to see how accurate the meter is. It's very close. You notice that now we have amps, we have no volts. I have a gear motor hooked in series with the LED. This meter is for the LED, the other one's for the gear motor. Watch how little voltage transfers to the LED when the motor is under load. Almost all the power stays to the motor. Now I have an incandescent bulb hooked in series with the motor. Notice how the voltage transfers over to the bulb and the motor voltage drops. The other thing I'm looking at with these LEDs is using the heat off of them as a heater. These LEDs can generate a lot of heat. That's why you need a heat sink on a lot of them. I wonder how this will be in series with the heating element. Here I have the LED hooked in series with the piece of fine steel wire. You notice the, how low the volts is across the heating element. There's our heating element. And our heat sink from the LED. So we're getting heat from both of them. 
This wire coil is 1.2 ohms resistance cold. There must be a certain resistance where the voltage will start shifting back to the LED. I wanted to mention about these laser thermometers. The LED is that bright it must have burned out the sensor in here because my temperature readings are way off now. Thanks for watching.